Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to set up on-premises MIL4 standalone server. Let's move on and see the agenda where we will see downloading MIL4 standalone server, setting up on-premises MIL4 server and deployment of MIL4 application on on-premises server. Let's move on and start the demo. You can move on to this link, Mule ESB Enterprise, which I will be posting in video description. And from here, you can download Mule 4 standalone server. I have already downloaded it. And this is here. Once you have downloaded this, let's move on to any point platform and see this screen. From here, we can move on to Runtime Manager to add our own premises server. Once we are here, we can see on the sidebar, we have applications, servers, alerts. We can select servers menu. And from servers, we can click on add server. Once we click on add server, we will see this command to set up a standalone server. We can copy this and move back to directory where our enterprise standalone server is installed. We can move on to bin directory and open command line. Here's the command that was copied from any point platform and change the name of server, whichever you want to give. I would give it mule node one. Okay. And make a little bit change here and click enter. And now the server is being configured to any point platform. We can see from here. Mule agent configured successfully. And this is here. Once this is configured, we can move back and run the server. Meanwhile, the server is running. Let's move on to Endpoint Studio and see the application which we will deploy. This is the application where I have added an HTTP listener and a logger, which would print hello from mule bytes. Okay, and I have exported this application to a directory. Let's move on and see if the application has started or not. This is connected. And after a short time, the status would be started. Let's refresh and see if this has been configured and started successfully. Yes, the server is running now. Let's move on to applications. Deploy application and we will deploy the application. Let's name it test and the target deployment target would be new node server, which we just configured and select jar file that was exported here click on here and deploy application once the application is deployed we will see from rest client by accessing it through the url this is now starting see the status we are getting on our own premises mule 4 server this application is started let's see from here the host one test see we are getting 200 okay result which means that application has been deployed to mule 4 server here successfully this is the end of video thank you for watching this episode and stay tuned for more videos thanks